good right there. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. We are on a Monday on a September 23rd, 2019 already. Wow. I thought we just began September and here we are almost ending it. A week to go. Of course, we are in the season of fall. Huh? What's that, Jacob? A week to go. Get your uh, schoolwork deadlines uh, lined up to finish. See how time flies? It's, it's really very fast. Time flies fast. Okay. Anyway, today the gospel is from St. Luke chapter 8, verses 16 to 18. Hello, Eva. Eva, you listen. Okay, this is a short gospel. Jesus said to the crowd, No one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel or sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. For nothing, for there is nothing hidden that will not become visible and nothing secret that will not be known and come to light. Take care then how you hear. To anyone who has, more will be given. And from the one who has not, even what he seems to have will be taken away. So we are all lampstands. We are all light. And the reason why reason we are is because through our baptism, God has switched on that light in our souls he has given us the grace to become children of god to become part of his church and that grace is illumined in our souls through that switch uh, uh, through the sacrament of baptism in every sacrament that we receive Thereafter, confirmation, holy communion, sacrament of confession, every sacrament that, what does the sacrament do? Huh? Gives grace, right? It is, uh, 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 what is, how do you define a sacrament? An outward sign instituted by Jesus Christ to give grace, right? That's the catechism answer to that question, what is, what is grace? So, every sacrament gives grace, supernatural grace, sacramental grace, that keeps making that light that God put in our soul in baptism glow even more, 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 and more. To the point where you cannot really contain it for yourself. Why? Because it's a great good. And just like any light, like this lamp here we have right in front of us, you can't really cover it up. See, the fact that it is lighted, it will always shine through. Even if we attempt to cover it up, there's always a glimmer of illumination that will emanate from it. Right? And the same thing is true with a soul in the state of grace. The soul that possesses God. It will always shine through. Because... As St. Thomas also tells us, Bonum est diffusivum sui. Uh, very nice Latin phrase to memorize. Bonum est diffusivum sui. If there's any Latin phrase that you should memorize, it's this one. I love it. And I really, really love it. <laughs> Bonum est diffusivum sui. Because it speaks of everything that the good is. It diffuses itself. Good has a tendency to diffuse itself. And what greater good than God and grace do we have? Really nothing. God is everything. So the grace of God in our soul is the greatest good. And you cannot contain that. It's not, yeah, it will be like the lamp that you cannot really hide it under the bed or anywhere else. It will always shine through. Right? Now, and because this light is not something we own completely for ourselves because we are we have a broken nature right we were born with original sin it is only by the grace of god that 
that we are bearers of that light, okay? And it's not ours. Because of that, we have the obligation to make it shine through. See? We have the obligation to share that light, <clears throat> to share that truth, because it is not ours. We are only bearers of the light. And we were given that light by God himself so that we share it, not, so that, not for us to keep it under the bed or, 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 or under any vessel, right? It would be a scandal. It would be a disgrace. It would be an insult to God for us not to make that light shine and influence other people. That's a crime. That is very wrong. If we try to conceal that light that God has given us, if we try to cover it up, if we don't want to share it with other people, that is going to be a scandal. Because that light is not ours. We are only lampstands, bearers of the light. It was God who gave us that light. And it would be completely ungrateful towards God if we do not let that light shine and really grow and illumine the environment more and more and more. Okay? Because that is what God expects us to do. That is what grace is all about. And by nature, it is diffusive. So let's not try to conceal it. We, in fact, have to facilitate its diffusion. We have to facilitate that that light of grace in our soul shines more. So that more and more people can see, can see what? <clears throat> or who? God in you. God in you, Chevelle. Very good, right? Let other people see the goodness of God, not your own goodness, but the goodness of God through you. See, we have to be bearers of Christ, okay? bearers of the light, bearers of the goodness of God, bearers of the image of God. It is not us. We are not trying to draw attention to ourselves when we do good things. We are not trying to showcase our own talents and, and, and make people all around us think, Oh, look how goody-goody I am. No, 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 no. That's not the point, right? The point of doing good and giving good example, by the way, that's why good, giving good example is an obligation. It is an obligation to give good example. And why so? Because it is not our own light that we are bringing to others. It is the light of Christ. It is the goodness of Christ, the goodness of God that we are showing other people so that they may see God through us. Poor lamp instruments, poor lamp side, uh, 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 lamp shaded uh, instruments to help the grace of God get diffused to others. So let us not be selfish. Let us not be self-centered here and think that we are so goody-goody because of our own efforts. No, God has given us the grace in our souls. We make use of it for our own improvement, for our own benefit. But at the same time, we have to give good example to others so that others may see the light of Christ. And that is why, that is why it is very scandalous when we don't give good example. You know what our Lord said to people who give scandal instead of example? What did our Lord say? It's better that a millstone be tied on in, around the neck and this guy be thrown into the sea. Wow. Imagine how our Lord, uh, the imagery our Lord uses to, to curse people, eh? especially these kinds of people who give scandal. Imagine what he says. It's better that this guy was not born, right? It's better that a millstone be tied on his neck and he be thrown into the depths of the sea rather than for him to give good, a bad example. See? So because giving bad example is really directly opposed to 
our nature as Christians, our nature as baptized Catholics who are supposed to be bearers of light. If we don't give good example, and rather give the opposite, bad example, well, we're doing what God, Jesus says in the gospel here. We are hiding the lamp under a bushel, under a vessel, or under, uh, under a bed. Right? And that's not what it's supposed to be. That's not what's natural for a lamp to do. What is natural for a lamp is for it to be displayed. Right? And we are that lamp. So what is natural to us, what should be second nature to us, is to be giving good example. So if we don't give good example, that is contradictory to the very nature of our being Catholic, baptized by the grace of God in the Catholic faith. Used to be the instruments of Jesus Christ to diffuse that good. To diffuse the grace of God to others. That is why it's an obligation for us to give good example. And it is very bad for us to give scandal or bad example to others. Okay? So let us not dim that light. Let us make sure that we always really, really be that light. And be very careful not to dim that light or switch it off through sin. sin. Through sin. Right? And that is why no matter how little a sin we might have in our souls, every week we go to confession. Every week we strive to go to confession and be sorry for our sins. Right? Let us allow the light of Christ to shine through us okay folks we're off to mass have a good day everybody we hope to see you through the rest of the week oh I have my classmate Jonathan Patajo Joe this guy yeah Jojo we call him he's also Jojo hi Joe I have a son who's like you a drummer yep maybe you can give him some lessons <coughs> okay have a good day everybody bye bye